Hi, my name is Adam. In this video, we will be introducing JBI's model of evidence-based healthcare. Getting the appropriate information into the hands of those who determine health policy and who deliver healthcare is fundamental to improvements in healthcare delivery and health outcomes. JBI's vision is to see a world in which the best available evidence is used to inform policy and practice to improve health in communities globally, or quite simply, better evidence, better outcomes, brighter future. JBI defines evidence-based healthcare as decision-making that considers the feasibility, appropriateness, meaningfulness, and effectiveness of healthcare practices. The best available evidence, the context in which the care is delivered, the individual patient, and the professional judgment, and the expertise of the health professional inform this process. Evidence-based healthcare does not eliminate the need for reasoning and reflection by the clinician. On the contrary, the clinician requires enhanced clinical reasoning skills when deciding on what evidence or recommendations to follow for the individual patient they are treating. When making clinical decisions, health professionals are concerned whether their approach is feasible, appropriate, meaningful, and effective. These four considerations of decision making comprise the JBI's FAME scale. The F refers to evidence of feasibility. Feasibility is the extent to which an activity is practical and practicable. Clinical feasibility is about whether or not an activity or intervention is physically, culturally, or financially practical or possible within a given context. The A refers to appropriateness. Appropriateness is the extent to which an intervention or activity fits with or is apt in a situation. Clinical appropriateness is about how an activity or intervention relates to the context in which the care is given. The M refers to meaningfulness. Meaningfulness refers to the meanings patients associate with an intervention or activity as a result of their experience with it. Meaningfulness relates to the personal experience, opinions, values, thoughts, beliefs, and interpretations of patients or clients. Meaningful information may provide a clue as to whether patients are likely to positively or negatively experience healthcare practices and whether they will be accepted. The E refers to effectiveness. Effectiveness is the extent to which an intervention, when used appropriately, achieves the intended effect. Clinical effectiveness is about the relationship between an intervention and a clinical or health outcome. The JBI model of evidence-based healthcare was initially developed in 2005 and then updated in 2016. The inner circle represents the pebble of knowledge, while the inner wedges provide JBI's conceptualization of the steps involved in the process of achieving evidence-based approaches to clinical decision-making. The outer wedges operationalize that, the components of the parts of the model and articulate how they might be actioned in a pragmatic way. The arrows indicate that the flow can be bi-directional. Now let's go through the model piece by piece. The inner circle represents evidence-based healthcare. The JBI model conceptualizes evidence-based healthcare as decision-making that considers the feasibility, appropriateness, meaningfulness, and effectiveness of healthcare practices. The best available evidence, the context in which care is delivered, the individual patient, and the professional judgment and expertise of the health professional inform this process. Evidence-based healthcare is at the center of everything that JBI does, and it is at the center of our model. JBI believes that evidence-based healthcare should be driven by the needs of global health. The achievement of improved global health is seen as both the goal or endpoint and the driving force of evidence-based healthcare. This can be actioned via sustainable impact. Often, evidence implementation activities succeed in making a change to healthcare practices. Unfortunately, due to resourcing issues and the ever-changing nature of health services, these changes may only be temporary. To truly address and improve healthcare, any positive improvements need to be lasting. Engagement and collaboration at all levels is imperative to address successfully the significant issues we face in delivering evidence-based healthcare. Knowledge need. Gathering knowledge of what people need, what resources are available, and what limits constrain their choices is vital to an evidence-based approach to the delivery of healthcare. 
The evidence generation wedge of the model identifies discourse or narrative, experience, and research as legitimate means of knowledge generation. It recognizes that the results of well-designed research studies grounded in any methodological position, antidotes, or personal opinion and expertise are all deemed valid methods of generating evidence to inform policy and practice. Research. Evidence mainly comes in the form of research, both quantitative and qualitative, that has been conducted to answer a question, experience. However, evidence can also come in the form of experience, including expertise and patient preferences or values. Discourse. Discourse is a broad term incorporating a variety of types of communications or debate, including text and opinion regarding a subject. Evidence synthesis is the evaluation or analysis and correlation of research evidence and opinion on a specific topic to aid in decision making in healthcare. The three main components of this wedge are the systematic reviews, evidence summaries, and guidelines. Systematic review. The core of evidence synthesis is the systematic review of literature on a particular condition, intervention, or issue. The systematic review is essentially an analysis of all the available literature, that is, all the evidence, and the judgment of the effectiveness or otherwise of a practice. And this involves a series of complex steps. Evidence summary. Smaller scale evidence summaries or rapid reviews have also emerged as a streamlined approach to synthesizing evidence in a timely manner. Clinical guidelines. Trustworthy clinical guidelines include the use of rigorous development methodology, clear reporting of recommendations linked to the evidence, include systematic reviews in their development, and are conducted using a transparent process, including extensive external review. Fundamental to the process of evidence-based decision-making is the ability of those at the point of care to access synthesized research. Evidence transfer is the coactive participatory process to advance access to and uptake of evidence in local contexts. It is a causal phenomenon consisting of factors that enable facilitate and support evidence implementation. That is more than just a single interaction. It incorporates active dissemination, systems integration, and education. Active dissemination. Active dissemination involves active methods to spread information such as email or social media in different formats to encourage motivation or uptake with items like infographics, decision support aids, icons, and knowledge spreaders, such as champions or thought leaders. Passive dissemination is still, of course, very important. Systems integration. The integration of evidence into systems is pivotal for evidence-based healthcare, and this may relate to the inclusion of evidence in clinical decision support systems, policies and processes, and the like. Education. All forms of education, including professional development, online education, award level, in-services, are all a vital component of evidence transfer. Since the objectives of evidence-based healthcare is optimal healthcare outcomes, it seems self-evident that the implementation of best available evidence is key to its success. Evidence implementation is a purposeful and enabling set of activities designed to engage stakeholders with research evidence to inform decision making and generate sustained improvement in the quality of healthcare delivery. Components of evidence implementation include a context analysis, the facilitation of practice change, and the evaluation of processes and outcome. Context analysis. Any implementation strategy should carefully consider and analyze the context and setting for implementation, including a consideration of how ready the organization is for change or implementation. Facilitation of change or implementation. Change or implementation projects require a facilitator or driver of that change in any engaged process with all stakeholders. Evaluation. To determine the impact of change and inform future activities, data on processes and outcomes should be collected. The overarching principles of this model are culture, capacity, communication, and collaboration. In this way, issues relating to stakeholder engagement, the localization of knowledge, responsiveness to local knowledge, 
requirements, and sustainability are all acknowledged in the process of evidence-based healthcare. Complex healthcare environments mean that there is no single linear approach that will work every time to move evidence into policy and practice. However, this model of evidence-based healthcare serves as a useful guide to inform academic and clinical organizations to practice evidence-based healthcare so that we can work together towards using better evidence for better outcomes and a brighter future for all. Thank you.